Wow, this is a tough one. Bella, who do you think is taking it? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. You tell us, Nikki. Right. Now, the award goes to Kofi Mole. Hello? Um, first of all, I want to thank God, Charlie. God bless my team. God bless my fans. I post against this every day. Charlie Cantamanto, this is for you. Tiptoe Lane, this is for you. Circle, this is for you. Ebuakwa, my hometown, this is for you. The whole Kumerican. Kumerican Spower. This one is for you. Charlie, bless up. Big shouts to everybody. Zetika, big shouts to you. Slim Take, my sister. Efia Jemfua Kubiti, big shouts to you. Sambo, big shouts to you. No gentleman allowed. Warehouse Records. Big shouts to man like Obi. Bless up. Gangster. I think we're going to let the young man also say a word or two. But congratulations, Kofi Mole. Hello and welcome to the show that brings you the full experience around the 24th Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. It's the road to VGMA 24 with me, Crystal Kwame Ayi, your ultimate head of MC. Yes, indeed, I will be your pilot all throughout today. Now, I'll tell you something. It's a full bouquet of awesomeness, so you can't miss this at all. Big thanks to our sponsor, Vodafone Ghana, for holding us down all through. The date to note is 6th May 2023. We literally have only a few weeks to go. So you have to lock it and if you have to, you know, make your preparations towards it and all of that, this is the moment. We'll take a quick commercial break when we get back full juice right here on Road to VGMA 24. Stay on. Midi <laughs> kutusirami <laughs> Mosai jami bonka ye Mami tipu o Mami tipu o You see this one yeah it belongs to the ghetto youth The ghetto youth because I'm the ghetto youth president You see me I say Rascal could the ghetto youth president is here and I'm here to stay Reggae down so general is a hot general you don't know Last year by this time na hahu but we are here. Yeah, we are here to let the world and Ghanaians know that reggae dancehall is not violent. And we're back. This is Road to VGMA24, the one space where you get all the juice, the buzz, the 411 around the VGMA24. I'll have you know that the experience concert, yeah, one we always look forward to is happening in Ho on the 15th of April. So you can join us. We're literally shutting it down in Ho as all the nominees come together. We're giving you a full show. You can't miss this at all. It's always something that we look forward to on the entertainment calendar in the year. Listen up. We also have the VGMA in schools, which is an initiative uh, by Charter House and VGMA, they come together to educate the young ones, anyone who's really interested in the music business, we bring them the information so they have first-hand knowledge and an understanding of what they may be getting themselves into. So you know what? We'll be getting into that this year, but we have a bit of a recap from last year. Very interesting, very exciting, and great feedback from our students. So you know what? Let's take a look at this. Girls for the VGMAs in Schools Initiative. I'm excited, of course. I can't wait to share the little knowledge I have with these girls. So let's go. Give me all you get, don't hold back. I would like to give 
when I was going for the audition, my prayer was she shouldn't pick me. Because I was scared. But they picked me. And I made it all the way to the finals. I didn't win. No. I didn't win. It's not a happy ending. On that stage, Manifest was one of the judges. And he looked at me and told me, no matter what happens in this competition, you're not a singer, you are an artist. And when someone tells you that, it's one of the greatest things in the world. And that was the life of the I realized. Hey, I'm in my feelings. There is something about you. Alright, what's up everybody? It's your boy D Black, aka the Enjoyment Minister. And today I'm at St. Thomas Aquinas Secondary School, all boys school. We're about to shut it down for the VGMA Schools Initiative Project. I'm gonna be here with my people, it's so gonna be loud. People normally call me Escoba. Escoba. Everything you do, whether it's music, acting, banking, being a lawyer, you face challenges getting there. The only reason why you'll be successful is if you're passionate about it and you work hard at it. If you love something and it's over there, no matter what you face going to get it, you find a way to go over those hurdles because nothing good will come easy. Everybody, let's go! And today I'm at Tamasco, Tamas Secondary School. I'm here for VGMA in schools and I can't wait to chit chat with the students and just vibe, you know. Don't feel shy or feel like, hmm, maybe it's not time to start. Start as early as possible. Start from now. Because by the time you grow and you're like in your teens, maybe 18, 19, 20, by that time, I know why you're shocked, uh, like, you know? It's because my team supports and pushes my stuff. That's how come a song like, why? You guys know how to sing. Hey, hey, why Can you tell me why oh initiative there very soon we'll begin this one as well for this year is the 24th Vodafone Ghana Music Awards we never know which school we will be landing in now we're going on to conversations around VGMA 24 we're talking today about the music industry really I've had you know I've had so many conversations around us not having a music industry some saying we have a music industry so today we're going to break it all down we have a resource person in-house and we have a panelist as well ready to break it down and without wasting any time Ria is in the building, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's Ria Anankwa, we saw her last week. We also have Akosia Hansen, who's a cultural curator and artistic activist in the house. Yeah, good to have you. Thank you. So we have an artist, and then we have a cultural activist, an entertainment pundit. Why, why are you looking <laughs> like that? Yeah, I'm giving it to you. She's an artist, yeah, through and through. <laughs> That's it. But it's good to have you. I know we've always been, you know, at the forefront of these kind of conversations. Mm -hmm. And in recent times, I've heard people strongly say that we don't have a music industry. We are just doing something. Mm -hmm. We are just, yeah, making music. We are just distributing music. I've seen a few research papers, but I think it's good for us to get into this. Now, our main conversation around this today is, do we have a music industry? It, what is an ideal, you know, music industry? And how is the VGMA actually supporting the music industry? So this is what we're getting into. So my first question is going to Ria. <laughs> yeah, Ria, <laughs> what's, what's an ideal, you know, uh, music industry? Well, an ideal music industry, of course, um, the, the industry has to be churning out a lot of music, which is like borderline. <clears throat> you have to have talents that are willing to turn out music. You have to have an able environment for them to be able to churn out that music and how far the music goes, how the government is able to push the creatives to be able to, you know, achieve what they want, go out there internationally, 
um, make money, make the country proud, mm. and all that. I think that's ideal for every industry. Right, yeah. every music industry. Exactly. Because uh, do you agree with that? Yeah, de definitely. Um, um, uh, an ideal music industry. I'm glad you started off on, on that ideal. question. <laughs> yes, you know, because I feel like we can't um, erase the work of what people have already done, done. you know, yeah. by saying there is no music industry. Yeah. There actually is. Yeah. But an ideal music industry, I'll just touch on two things, has um, one, intentionality mm. in the um, structures that are built, intentionality. And yeah. I stress that with, for example, um, when Kwame Nkrumah set up the Institute of African Studies, there was an intentional charge yeah. that you will go study this and actually contribute to cultural production, African cultural production that goes all around the world. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like that there is a mu music industry, there has been a lot of work in the past, but the intentionality yeah. of That's building a structure to, def to definitely create Ghanaian music yeah. in the ven various genres that comes in and also, you know, um, mm -hmm. move it to the world and the ways it needs to come in is very important. So the structures from songwriting all the way to the end consumer, the yeah. audience, you know, all the structures that are built in such a way that people are, are compensated for the work that yeah. they do, in such a way that artists um, benefit from what they do, in such a way that audience also benefit from what they do, and the country also, also benefits, benefits from that, that um, yeah. industry. Yeah. The I like second the point. thing I'll add is um, the historical documentation is, is something that I would love to see in um, uh, an ideal music industry. Okay. Historical documentation and preservation very, very, very important. Mm. People who've done this work before us. Yeah. We, we know now Afrobeats is a big thing all over the world. Mm. It's the, in Ghana, with us, it started with High Life. Exactly. High Life was that. What yeah. is the work that has been done documenting that work? Who were the actors? Yeah. Do people, do music people sitting here today, do people going to music schools today know all the actors at the time, know the music? Do they study them? That's you rich. Know? Yeah. That's rich. I like, you know, the fact that you're bringing structure, structure to the conversation because I, I was looking at some documents as well uh -huh. and they broke it down into three parts where, you know, recorded music is a part of the industry. Facts. We had to have the licensing aspects of it and that Facts. has to be functioning. And Facts. then the third bit being live. So Facts. if you have, that's live music. So if you have all all these three that should be an ideal you know music industry Fact. but let's introduce someone to our conversation right now he is our resource person for today you know him in music is an artist a producer manager he's done everything in the music space his name is Andy Dusty <laughs> Annie Dusty is here with us, joining us in the conversation. And we're really talking about this big question. Is there a music industry in Ghana? And how is the VGMAs playing a part in this? Really, we have to break this down today. So first question, is there a music industry in Ghana? Yes, there is a music industry. I mean, whoever competes or comes up with an argument is, um, I mean, is a no brainer for you to even ask whether there is a music industry in a country like Ghana. Mm -hmm. We've had a music industry since Jesus Christ. <laughs> since Ghana was born, mm. all right, we've had music greats who, who've done enormous stuff long before our time. Mm. And so for anyone to argue whether there is a music industry, for me, is flawed. Okay. So in our space or our generation, take a look. Thousands of recording studios, that alone tells you the industry we are in. Every day, I'm an example. Mm -hmm. Every day, I receive hundreds of messages from young musicians, people who want to be in there, mm -hmm. people who have recorded demos and want to be heard people who want to come on my radio shows, people who would want to talk to me, people who seek advice. If there is no industry, mm. where are all these people coming from? Again, where are they going? There must be a space to contain them, mm. and that is the industry. I see. I hope um, I've answered you. Yeah, yeah, no, you, yes, you have. And to some extent, um, there's, there's a bit where we're talking about licensing and people being able to receive the funds that they're due through their music and so on and so forth. I and mean, I've had a few arguments as well that that function, you know, adds to the music industry. So if it is crippled or it is not working as it should, then the industry is not well established. I don't know uh, where you stand with this one. And ladies, please feel free to make your inputs as well. 
I mean, um, what, what I'll add to that, um, licensing, I'm going to definitely leave it to, to Andy to answer, mm. but what I'll add to that is when you have an industry, you also have to have a space um, where people are, or an, an organization or a structure that supports the rights of the creators in that industry. Mm. So the, the rights of the musicians, that they get what they are due, so which is yes. behind the licensing, yeah. you know, uh, that people are protected entering the industry, that people are, um, you know, allowed to grow. Their, their rights and dignities are protected while they are doing the work. This is why we have unions in every workplace. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's all I was going to say, that um, for an ideal music industry, the rights of, of, of the actors yeah. um, have to be protected. There has to be a structure that protects those rights. In, in Ghana, it's Gamro. Yeah. Um, and and um, I mean, I've, I've not heard um, artists speak too favorably yes. of, of Gamro. So it, it, it just means at least that is there. We know that you needed to be instituted. So it's you there. Know, uh -huh, it's there. But, so and if you we know, need to do better, yeah. better so we can I, at least I, the I basics. Didn't know you would jump, have been I didn't know you would jump to licensing, but um, to round up the industry bit, mm -hmm. radio stations. Mm. How do they feed the people? Music. Mm -hmm. Predominantly music, right? right? So that alone, okay, or oh, that is a factor. The VGMAs. Mm -hmm. Imagine, 24 years, keeping musicians on their toes, yeah. working so hard. This is a recognition of your hard work. They wouldn't just call you and say, Mm, we think you dress so well, so come and walk on the red carpet and we'll give you an award for the best artist of the night. No. How do you become the best artist of the night? It means you work tirelessly yes. for the year on the review. That constitutes or is a part of the industry. Okay? That aside, movies. When the movies are shown, music is That's played true. in there. Yeah. And that also contributes to our industry. Funerals. Yeah. Go to funerals. Whilst people are busy crying for the dead, uh, for the dead, dirges are played. And then you say weddings as well. Weddings. Yeah. All of these, all of them are, are a, a factor or factors into making our industry better. Now you mentioned Gamro. Mm -hmm. Gamro is doing well. Yeah. Let's not rubbish their their work. One thing that a lot of people are not really paying attention is the login system with radio stations. Okay. Now with this, how does it work? If we are not writing, we are not writing them down, um, we don't have softwares to record or upload or send signals to Gamro that, okay, Kitty's song was played a hundred times, yeah. Black Sheriff or Chame Kwame yeah. or anyone else, their songs were played in, in number or these, they were streamed at at 1 p.m., 100 times, two times, or yeah. I'm counting. Why is it so? A lot of the radio stations are not online. A lot of people are not paying attention. Because these streams or these things are numbered or calculated online by the internet. Right. Most of the radio stations are not online. So you think it should be a requirement that they get online as yes, a radio yes, station? Yes, yes, That's number one. Number two, well, it's arguable because someone may have a different approach to it. Number two, those online are very inconsistent. Today they are there, the next day they are not. How do you record them? So if the day you are not working, you played my song a thousand times, how do I get my money? Right. And a lot of people are not really paying attention to this. It's very unfortunate that Gamro is also not addressing that. Right. So it's a two-factor problem, if yes, I may say. Yes, so yes, on the yes. part of, say, the bodies that are playing the music and then on the part of Gamro as well. So they should be working hand in That's hand, right. making sure that they keep That's each right. other on their toes. That's interesting to get into. I never even thought of yeah. that bit. Yeah. Yes. I've noticed <laughs> that no, no one never, is really talking yeah. about Yeah. But I think yeah. it's a solution, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. Ria, I want to get your thoughts on this as well. I mean, looking at what he said, what yeah. uh, Makosia has also um, talked about, he, br he brought up VGMA also yeah. being a part of the exactly. industry. I want to get your thoughts on how the VGMA, VGMA actually is helping to grow the Ghanaian music industry. Um, I, I, there's so much I can say about that. Let's talk about even the unsung categories where um, artists are allowed to exhibit their talent for people to discover them. Even if I've seen a lot of artists that didn't win the category, mm. but they sparked 
you know, something within yeah. the audience and like, oh, I want to follow this artist yeah. because, listen, he's doing very well. Okay, apart from that too, as Andy said, musicians are always on their toes. We yeah. always see the scuffle <laughs> that comes out from their fan bases and amongst the musicians themselves saying, listen, I, I should have been nominated for this. I should have been nominated for that. And because they know the blood, yeah. sweat and tears they put in the music. Yeah. And it actually pushes them not to churn out, excuse me to say... Um, <laughs> I know where you're going with this. For the lack of a better word, yes. useless music. Yeah. You get so it's a know. check for them. It's a check basically for them to bring, churn out quality sound so that they can even be, um, they can even be recognized yeah. and then you make a good nominated. point. You make a good point. Because mm -hmm. even beyond nomination, it puts them in a better position to be accepted globally as and well. And then promotion. Let me just add this. Okay. Promoting their music so that it crosses um, regions and yeah. crosses borders. Yeah. So that, you know, they, they can accumulate their listenership to be able to be nominated. Yeah. And I like that as well because VGMA is not only shown here in Ghana, even though it's a Ghanaian event, it's streamed on so many platforms. It crosses, you know, global platforms. So it's not just Ghanaians in Ghana that are watching it. We exactly. have people of various nationalities watching as well. It's a very good point you raised yeah. about the showing across. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, because it, it showcases a lot of talents. So, for instance, even if I walk on a stage to present an award, and my name is mentioned, mm -hmm. and let's say I am named as a publisher. Mm -hmm. Imagine if anyone is coming to Ghana mm -hmm. to work and would need a publisher, the person will certainly mark me down and walk to me and work, uh, do business with me. Mm -hmm. I'm introduced as a producer, presenter, this, that, that, that. I remember uh, a few years ago, I went to present an award on the VGMA stage. Immediately I got down, a man from Barbados oh. approached me and he had a very good talk with me. He said, that, oh, I just heard your name. And there were some few people uh, around him that were saying some stuff about me that were good. Mm -hmm. And so he walked up to me and started talking business. And this was very, very good. I even led him to, well, some... Yeah. yeah. I mean, you were not even an artist, you know, up for, for nominations no. for an award no. at the time. But you still no. got your bit out of okay. it. Yes. A good, yeah, it's a good way to look at it. So, I mean, yeah. yeah, sorry. So that was the thing of that's the thing about the VGMAs mm -hmm. and, and, and having a big award scheme the way it is is the fulcrum point for the industry. This is the fulcrum point that brings all the stakeholders mm -hmm. from the writers to the end consumers to the, the business investors mm -hmm. and to all of it. So it was really great to hear that even just someone invited on a stage to present yes. just gets that. So um, it's it's v, the VGMAs are very important. I wanted to also add that. When you, when you want to go beyond the borders of your country to go into the, into the world, yeah. right? Um, facts is, people are going to look you up and look yeah. you up where you are from. There are several places I've gone to. The only reason why those doors were open to me was they could Google to see what, where I'm from and what I'm doing where I'm yeah. from and what the people where I'm from say, about, say about what you. I'm doing. Mm. So it's like, are you recognized where you are? Mm -hmm. You know, and that is the platform that the VGMA does give. I mean, um... Char Charlemagne's Breakfast Club yeah. um, interview with Stoneboy, they yes. reference the VGMAs, yep. yes. you know, because that is, that is the connection and that is how they can see, see you yeah. on their skills. Like, oh, even in your country, you are the um, yes. winner of yes. these. Yes. Of, yes, yeah. exactly. And that is how people can place you. So the VGMAs is very, very important in that light. Yeah. Obviously, you know, people would, will always have our fights about <laughs> who should win what or why should win what. And yes, honestly, indeed. I never think it's going to ever be fair. Yeah. There are people who should be on that and never on. There are people who should win who don't win. There are people who um, don't win but should win. Yeah. But the Again, fact that it's day, mm, you know. Fairness is subjective, if you ask me, Facts. anyway. It's based on your experience and Facts. what you are expecting. Facts. So it, it wouldn't always be that. Be yeah, so Facts. it would be like that. <laughs> At the end of the day, the standing body would have its say. But Facts. let's get your final words on this. Uh, what do you think can be done better or can be done more to build, grow a formidable mm. Ghanaian music industry, Ria? Mm. As Akosia said, intentionality. <laughs> mm. it's, it's, it's the word that has been on most of our lips since we started dissecting issues about the music industry. Intentionality from the government and from Facts. the unions. Facts. Okay, mm -hmm. So these unions Facts. have to actually find the loopholes that they've left open when it comes to licensing so that the artist will be able to get what is worth them. Yeah. 
you understand me. Yes. So intentionality, intentionality. 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 <laughs> All right, Andy. <laughs> okay, so mine will be on a from a layman a lame a layman's perspective. Something that I think we've said over and over again is becoming trite. We don't look down on our industry. We don't look down on ourselves. Look, I think that we've got the most talented musicians on this continent, in my opinion. Yes. Yeah. Right? Ghana, we've got. Facts. No. Facts. From way, 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 yeah. way back. Mm. I can name yeah. hundreds. Oh, man, yeah. don't we've go been there. Doing don't we've been doing there. this. Don't we go should there. go there, actually. <laughs> you understand? We've I can been doing name this. from way, yeah. way, way, way back. And, and our music, how our music has I mean, our music has inspired a lot of people. Yeah. You understand? And so uh, we, we, we don't look down on our industry. This is what we have. Let's cherish it and build it properly. And once we own it, then we can thrive. All right. Once we own it, we can thrive. All right, thank you, Akosia. Um, for me, it would because she said in intentionality, it would <laughs> to stress on the historical preservation, you know, and, and passing on that knowledge. Because if you um, forget your history, yeah. you actually would bastardize the power of your history and therefore bastardize yourself. Um, I know um, Ambele was in the news recently yeah. talking mm -hmm. about high life, and and me, what I take from it is. Is, is not the, I don't want to pick on the fights bit of it, but the main thing is what he's saying is very poignant. What is happening now with Afrobeats already happened with High Life, mm. but what has been the work in documenting the actors, yeah. like you said, of High yeah. Life? Um, I did an interview with, I, I mean, I had a conversation with, with Manifesta during the UG 70 celebrations, and he mentioned very importantly that um, even having a music school, yeah. you know, which trains the minds, that intentionality yeah. that I mentioned Kwame Nkrumah did with the Institute of African, African Studies, Studies, you know, that intentionality where he meant, Manifest mentioned how Nicki Minaj and a whole lot of people went to that specific school, I think La Gardia, mm -hmm. you know, having that type of thing. And when you have a school like that, that you is how you can pass knowledge. Exactly so. Go to the exactly. history, teach them what they are doing. Yeah. What Ambole is saying is, high life is not just anything, though. No. Yeah. High life no, it's a big deal. is from colonialism and till now. Ghana on the map. That honestly, was created. Honestly, yeah. And that, he, what he's I saying like is just basically telling you, guys, don't forget. Yeah. This is us. It's a good you know, move, though, so yeah. we don't forget Sorry. who we are. Just quickly. We yes. don't have much time um, anymore. Based <laughs> on what um, Akosia was yeah. saying, I, like, I would like that the educational systems to are uh, revamped yeah. and right. kept abreast. And more intentional. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank because you. The, the times way. have changed. More intentional. Because yeah. the times yeah. have changed. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. times have changed, that's, and they, they definitely demand a lot special. more. Yeah, intentionality. I agree with that 100%. And I'm sure that if we continue with this topic, we'd go on and on. Yes, indeed. But you have raised great points. So I really do appreciate you being on the show here today. The VGMAs, aside the unsung category, they have uh, the business aspect of it, where they educate people in the music business, you know, as well. They also have uh, VGMA in schools where they educate... You know, so the young ones get a little bit of a grooming before they get into oh, so onto yeah, the scene. They are set up in schools. So they go to the schools okay. every year. Okay. So that would begin. We, we've also started. We'll be starting one soon oh, nice. this year. Nice. Yes, indeed. So they go and then they yeah. teach the kids. The exactly. To perform and, oh, nice. Yeah. And then there's the big seminar as well where, you know, international acts are also brought together. There's literally that sharing of knowledge around music. There's so much new information to learn. Uh, we learn from the successes of others who have made it and continue to make it and break through other borders as well. So there are big things yeah, coming, big, big things BGMA. happening. Yeah, big up BGMA. Yes, <laughs> yes, amen to that. We need a stable And who we'll dedicates the prayer to that. <laughs> And everybody should play their part, and I think that's how we can get the wheel moving. I've been speaking to Akosria Hansen, also to Andy Dossi, and to Ria. Hey, all right now. Thank you so much. A reminder that VGMA is happening on uh, 6th May. Also, on 15th April, we are going to hold with the Experience Concert, where our unsung artists and others will also get the opportunity to perform. So, say on this is Road to VGMA 24. <laughs> So the excitement continues on the road to VGMA24. I'm Crystal Kwame Ayi, and I have been joined by my able panelists, Akosia Hansen and Ria as well. You know Ria, entertainment pundits, everywhere she's there, she's making her commentary. <laughs> 
and I've been having such a good time on the show. A reminder that the VGMAs is happening really soon. We are also going to Ho on the 15th of April with the Experience Concert. It's a free concert so you can make it there. Stop making your arrangements now so that we can meet and have a great time. Now, a part of the show that we all really do love. We are crowning it all off with a conversation with one of our favorites here in Ghana and representing us very well across the world. His name is The Black. What, what, Black? Woo! What, what? Sure. Talk. Anything, anybody will talk to you. If you want them in good faith, tell them to you, mashallah. Mashallah. If you, if, you, if you get some wishes for your heart, you want to make it happen. Inshallah, I will do this. Right. If anything to happen to you, wrong or right, mm. you say Alhamdulillah. Mm. Right. Yeah. So this one is Mashallah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Uh, I want to start with the nomination so everyone is aware. Uh, we have Artist of the Year. He's running for that. Vodafone Most Popular Song of the Year. And that's for Kweku the Traveler. We have the al album or EP of the Year, The Villain I Never Was. Uh, Songwriter of the Year, O Paradise. We have Best Hip Life or Hip Hop Artist. Best Music Video, Konongo Zongo. And Bab's Direction is there for that as well. Best Reggae Dancehall Song, Don't Forget Me. Best Afro Pop Song, Oil in My Head. And Best Hip Hop Song of the Year, that's Kweku the Traveler. So literally, he has the most nominations wow. in VGMA 24. Look at you. Yeah, big deal. I remember when he hit the scene, everyone just kept saying his name and we've never forgotten his name yeah. since then. There were, you know, drops, you dropped singles and then we asked for an EP or an album and you brought an EP through and you're getting recognition for the EP as well. Hey, sorry, forgive me, yeah. album. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm being very careful here. Forgive me. So you dropped a whole album for us. It's a big deal. There's a whole lot. And honestly, I think the album is an experience. You know, he speaks to you. He speaks to your mind and speaks to your soul. Now, my question for you, first and foremost, when you're putting the album together, do you think it will get you to this point? Yeah, I believe, like, with me, like, I don't predict things for my, for my like, for my art. Mm -hmm. I just put destiny in them. Do you get it? Whatever I do, like, because I don't do the same thing twice, thrice. I don't repeat them. Every song on the album, they have destinies on their own. Wow. So if I put them out, I put good faith in them, whatever they have for the outside world. If the album, it moved from being mine only to being yours, to being yours, to being yours. Mm. It, they have a lesson. Mm. Yeah, make it go do whatever mm. they do for outside. Yeah, that's how I do it. Yeah. So that's, that's my crazy. song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to, I'm, I'm I'm very pleased hearing you say this because yeah. I wanted to ask, like, um, when you say you put destiny in each song, so everything yeah. is becoming its own thing. Yeah. That means there's a lot of work that Black Sharif is doing on the instrument, the person. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to know what the what's Black Sharif's spirituality. It, yeah. I saw a video of you yeah. in the in the forest. That's that stuff that we yeah. mutualists yeah. do. Go yeah. to the forest and you know. And I saw you doing it. I want to yeah. know See, what's that I, like. I love like things that are unplanned. Uh, I know they like very scripted things, uh, you understand me? So more times, like, the things I do are, like, very personal stuff that I would love to make it happen. That's, that, that's the same, like, spirit that they give to my okay. art, my craft. Do okay. you understand me? I don't, I know what make you listen and say, oh, so this, you, you go fit figure amount now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. At the door, I'm saying, you no know, go fit figure amount. You, you go, you, you go find way, like, live with it, you yeah. understand me? Because... Most of the times, I create the thing. Sometimes I'm in pain, mm. I they create them. Sometimes mm. you go listen to the song, you are happy. Yeah. Right. So you, you go use them to your own advantage. Yeah. You understand? Okay. Yeah, that's okay. how I do the thing. Okay. I found that very interesting, really. Uh, as we were speaking, it took me to some of the comments people have said you know, about you. You know, you hit the scene and everybody was talking about it. It was yeah. a bit unusual for the Ghana that we knew at the time. And some said, you know, your music couldn't cross, you know, beyond where it had reached. You couldn't do more. So it was like, we've had one or two songs. First time, second time, it's okay. It won't get any more from, you know, from Black Sheriff. He can't do, he can't replicate it. He can't sustain it. And then you drop this album and then you're literally giving us different aspects of you. My yeah. question, how do you birth each of these sounds. I realize you're not a singer, you're not a rapper, like what we we'll call singer rapper. You you're don't fit artist. in exactly. You're an artist. So how do you birth these sounds that sound so different every single time? So you see where they born me for here, the kind of community they born me for inside. Mm. Mm. Like first survival thing, it will come your head to be being a rebel. Not rebel right. like pulling knife and things. <laughs> no, like, not going conventional. Yeah, so I've been a rebel with all everything right. that they do. 
my no, music. And what with the vim you they use to keep yeah. your rebelness? Because I have the nothing, society breaks down that. Yeah, yeah. I have yeah. nothing to lose. Zero. Okay. Mm, I hear that. Yeah, and they get zero. I so if I get one, I come back. It'll be zero. I know I they go that. negative. Wow. I hear so that. I they take risks with everything. Beats you go reject, in and go use two or something. Mm. Look at this. Yeah. Ah. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, wow. So I like I mean, it. So I just they take risks, they go being a rebel, singing, or something. Would you say some things happened to you before that, um, you know, got you to be this free with, you know, your art as well? Yeah. Because I feel like as humans, we grow up yeah. owning things, like you know, collecting stuff. things. Yes. You know, you might have gone through an well, experience that, born. you know. Because if you listen to some of his music, um, the lyrics too, you can realize that it has this p personal undertones. Yes. Someone yeah. said you sing the blues. You sing Ghanaian blues. blues. Mm. That's true, actually. Yeah, proper. Yeah. Proper. So, that's what I say with my art. I talk about my art every day. I see them through my lens. Mm. I don't go to see them through yours. The only lens I go to see them through be mine. So mm. how I see life. Then my past experiences, everything, then I write about them. Then put it out. Mm. You understand me? So mostly it's just my opinions and like debates that are going on in my head. Wow. Most of the time, some, some songs, some things that I say there, mm -hmm. I say like, um, I don't, sometimes I don't think about it. I'm just being like, I'd, I'd be whoever I want to be, yeah. corny, everything in my in songs. In your song, yeah. In my songs, I'm a wise person sometimes, I'm a corny ass. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a vulnerable sometimes, yeah. I'm this. I do all in my songs. That's the only place I feel safe. Right. Yeah, so like most of the times, like, they are like fantasies, past experiences, mm. and bad things on the song. It, it's me. interesting because you really mm. do feel that when you're listening yes. to his music. Mm. And I think it's one of the things I really love about him, the fact that he's not... He, he's not listening to what anybody has to say about his art. He's the artist in the first place. Yeah, because so, last, last, nobody really cares. Honest, yeah. yeah. And this is what you want to represent. I've yeah. met people who want to tune their things to suit what others want, yeah. like, prefer. But yours is very genuine and it's from you. It's like, if you don't take me as I am, and, and yeah. that's it. Mm. You don't like my music. I want to get into the cashes. Yeah, that's the cha-ching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, it, like is it doing it? It's like, yeah, he was counting it. Yeah. 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 That's it. Is, is it doing it for you? Is the music paying off? Yeah. Yeah? yeah that'd be how we go with the fish shoots. Mm. If you just tell you some of my videos from back then. You know they look like how the videos, the pictures they cut. Yeah, you started with yeah. a phone, isn't it? Yeah, phone Farouk, videos. Farouk, they, yeah, he yeah. cut me from time. Right now, wow. Farouk, he gets some bad camera. Oh, hey, look at that. Like wow. that. So, so he also I studied videography. Me. Yeah, no, everything. He picked it up. Said, no, no, yeah. Yeah. One I like of the that. I'm like, yeah. scratch, it's whatever we do right now. is like, whole lot of risks. Mm. Cause zero. Mm. We had nothing to lose. Mm. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, so everything we did, we were trying something. Mm. You understand okay. me? Then we build them from there. All right. So mm. in the light of the cha-ching, the <laughs> money yeah. here, um, are you used to the fame now? Used to the fame. Because I remember first time I saw you, I don't mm. know if you remember this. Mm. First time I saw you, it was in the studios of Hit FM. Mm. This guy in a durag mm. came in yeah. high pitch voice. <laughs> I just the cry, yeah, 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 that your song. Yeah. Yes. And then next thing I saw, viral. Here everywhere yeah. with machetes in music videos <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yes so and then later on i i remember last year vgmas he he said on a phone call place to him that oh i think in, a, in an interview that he was even honored mm. to be um in mention in a category with some of the people who were mm. in the category so i i want and now you're on BBC performing with Stormzy. Listen, I just want to know if you're used to it now. If, if, if you, sometimes you want to pinch yourself to find That's out it if it is me. real. Mm. Yeah, cause, so I keep this thing in my mind. To me, maybe sometimes you guys, you see me just black sheriff. Me, I see me, mm -hmm. I get sheriff. And I know there's black sheriff that I'm working for. Yeah. So if I day streets... I, I, I still be free to do my thing. You go that. see me for watching sports. You go buy your watching. Yeah, yeah, see, I see them. See them. Yeah, you go see I me see for them. them thing. Black Sheriff Day. They increase the price, but see Yeah. Them. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I trust them. They increase it for you. I mean, across the board. They take that with me. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go with you. Superstar. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, Sheriff. I'll take it. But you have your first, your debut show in the US. 
right? Yeah, coming UK. up in the UK, yeah. coming up yeah, in oh, no, the or Mayo, the Mayo okay, one, okay, yes, 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 the yes, debut yes, US yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and we all know that now things are cultural moments. You being there for us is now going to be a global cultural moment. Yeah, yeah, Do yeah. you feel any pressure in that way? And how are you how are you preparing for this? Before Every the, hour. What's the I venue? Prepare. What's the venue? Palladium. Palladium, Palladium. Palladium. New York. Yeah. yeah. Every hour. Every hour. Every yeah. hour. Even, so every, even this conversation is a preparation. Yeah. All Every right. step I take, I prepare for us. I and like now that. we feel just the challenge. So the US, we for do this, this. Every hour. Mm. Nice. Mm. I know the school. Mm. I know mm. the class. Nice. Mm. You understand me? Mm. And me, my life, I, mm. listen, make a tell on oh. how, how I do. Oh. I Speak to music. us. After high school, the only thing I knew how to do is music. So I built a life plan. So like my life be through the music, mm. whatever they do. So you understand me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's literally mm. every hour I'm working. Every hour you're working. Twenty four seven. I know they. Yeah. Mm. I mean, if I'm outside, I'm working. If I'm chilling, I'm working. I that's good to know. Yeah. yeah. But do you have what, any what, what fears, else? challenges, anxieties? Yeah. Because this is big. Have, yeah. Yeah. I have big and anxiety. how how do you no, you do? It. What are yeah, what things do, do you have do? Big anxiety. I have very huge social social anxiety. Mm -hmm. like, most of the times, you know, even when I go outside and I'm choose to like give a speech or something. First time I told him, please I'll start shaking, don't worry, I'll be cool. Oh before I start talking. Yeah. She gets to yeah, wow. it's like that. I'm, I'm a human. And you still but deal with fears, it. I have, yeah, 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 man. No risks. Yeah man. I mean you take the risk, there's nothing to yeah, lose. Yeah, so you just go lose. anyway. Whatever I lose, I go back to zero. I know fear is zero. Good to know. Yeah, yeah, good to know. Yeah, yeah, really so freedom. Beyond yeah. the performance, the great performance in May, what else do you have coming up this year? A lot. Share with us. Another body of work? Inshallah, <laughs> whatever, inshallah, singles, inshallah, videos, mm. videos they come out, they shoot videos for oh. songs, nice. songs on the album. Yeah, so, yeah, just keep an eye on us, you yeah. understand me, yeah. That's it. Yeah, keep an eye on us. I like the sound of that. There's, 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 we see you doing so much. I saw Erica Badu vibing to your Ooh. music. She's one of my favorites, the, the whole world, Jay yeah. Jay Khaled. Jay Khaled. Pop Khan, you're on, a, uh, on his album yeah. as well. Yeah. And Big deal, Timberland, celebrate. Timberland mentioned you yes. Like Timberland as well. Yes. So it can only go upwards from this point. Yeah, we wish sure. you the very best. And also with the VGMAs, let's see which one of them you're taking. You're yeah, sure yeah. that you're getting an artist of the year. You're sure yeah, of it. Night, go pull up. Hey, hey, hey. hey. All right. Mm -hmm. But which of them are you bagging your hopes on? Everyone <laughs> named the inside. You, want, you are getting it. That, nice. That's that the spirit all right. right there. All right. So your final words to all of you know, our, our viewers yeah. right now. So big love to the viewers, big love to supporters, um, big love to everyone outside. Be free, live life, you understand? Try love, mm. love people, you understand oh, me? Yeah. Love people, love yourself, Bad, yeah. and do something, you understand? And be blessed, respect, everything. Salute. Yeah. That's it. It's a hashtag. Try love. Yeah, because love will really just change the world, turn the world around. All right, now, so this has been a, a, great, perf a great conversation. And I, I'm actually looking for a performance, forward to a performance from you. That's why I keep saying performance. Yeah, so maybe we'll end on something like that, maybe a little freestyle. Which, of, yeah, which is your favorite song or your EP? So as you think about that, I do want to thank our viewers one more time for tuning in. And to you, Akusia Hansen, also to Ria for joining us, to you too. Yeah, Black Sheriff, take your two. Yes, indeed the vgmas are going live on sith may you can't miss it also we are going to hold with the experience concert on the 15th of april it's a free show so why don't you pack your things and join us in whole live all right my name is crystal kwami i have been your ultimate head up mc we're ready to roll and free let's do this let's go let's go yeah free yeah, 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 we'll, we'll join if you have to dance as well hey, hey, come on ah uh, you know we got it <laughs> Which is your favorite song? Oh, my niggas stream with you soon. Don't mm. you mess around with the crew. Swear to God, it's time I home. So we strap on night in the soon. Clearing everyone who don't want me to leave my life with fools. Rest in peace to all of them dudes. Talk you see, that's all you did do. Meet the chopper of the A. Meet the man who's always been. Sad and balling every day. Ask about me, ask about me. Gave up many times on my way. Had no one to come get me late. Too many times I said back again. They was very tired of me. You know, sad boys don't fall. So the gamma never fold. I kept my heart cold and I went through this soul. You know, sad boys don't fold. So the gamma never fold. I kept my heart cold and I fall like a man, bro. Sending love to my rastas. Hey. We'll be great to move down. Sending love to my rastas. Hey. Hey.
Hey. It will be hey. great. Hey. Love you. Love you. Hey. Love you. Thank you so ah, much. Yes, yes, Big up. It's been good having you on the show. We come back with Road to VG MX24 next week. Same time. Don't miss it. Till then, stay awesome. <laughs>